everybody, this is Susie, and this is Susie's Real Travel Channel. I've decided to just let it all loose because I make these videos and I'm so proper, trying to be professional, and really I'm just a huge goofball, and I'm a little bit nuts. Play this points and miles game, you really have to be a little bit nuts to make it work because it's extremely frustrating. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time. It's confusing, it's exhausting, it'll let you down at times. Anybody that tries to tell you any differently is just a big fat liar. It's a ton of work. It's like another full-time job, but I digress. Welcome to the channel if you haven't seen me before. Now I'm gonna be getting really real. Obviously I'm not on vacation now. I'm actually sitting in the middle of a graveyard. Some of you might get real creeped out by that. I actually find it to be extremely peaceful. There's some nice walking trails. So I walk here every day during lunch. So my husband and I work. Uh, we don't have any children together. I have a stepson that he's with us about half of the time. Real easy going kid from what I hear from other people's children. <laughs> Nightmares, I should say. It's been really easy. He's 12 now. So he's, you know, growing up a little bit more independent. So that's nice. My husband and I, we work and we buy properties and then we travel as much as possible. So two years ago we started with a points game. 400,000 points I had accumulated in Bank of America. If you have a Bank of America card just know that your points never expire. You might be accumulating points that you don't even know of. So I would check your bank account, check the rewards section and see what's going on because I was like extremely shocked at how many points I actually had. The three of us flew to California, American Airlines, round trip tickets on points. We got the car, hotel, all on points, all within 400,000 points. So it was pretty amazing. I probably didn't get the best deal. I did go through the travel portal of Bank of America, which some people might frown upon, but at the time I didn't know any different. So now that we played that little game and saw how great it was to travel on points, I've been getting card after card after card. So we've been to Dominican Republic, Jamaica. And we're going to be going to Las Vegas. We've been to Los Angeles. All on points. Mostly, if not all points. I make videos about our traveling and I realize actually throughout the video of the travel, we don't actually talk too much about the points sometimes because we're just so excited to be there. What I'm going to try to do, and it's a little bit off the beaten path of YouTube, make a separate video of how we got to where we went and then make a video of actually being there. So who wants to talk about the agony of getting there with trying to figure out the whole points game? when you're sitting on a beach sipping a pina colada not me so anyway here we go talking about the montego bay trip but this was my husband's first credit card uh, approved for the hilton honors american express sir now it's called the surpass it was just the can't remember what it was called before but anyway he got the surpass one where you get automatic gold and i learned that no matter how much you spend or how many nights you stay as long as you have that surpass card you get to keep the gold status definitely which after you spend fifteen thousand and you have a year to do that you get a free night also hilton honors gold if you stay five nights you, well, if you stay four nights, then you get an extra night free. So you can stay five nights for the price of four nights, which is like totally awesome. So he got his card at that time. The bonus offer was 130,000 points. I think the bonus offer now is like 100,000 points, which is still really good. I had some extra Hilton points from when I got my card. I got the regular one, the no annual fee one. I got 100,000 points, which was awesome at the time because I think now it's 75,000 points for the regular. Hilton Honors card, but there's no annual fee, so well, you can't go wrong. I combined my points with his points. We got to go to Montego Bay. Figure out when you should be traveling. They call it the shoulder season. It's end of summer, end of, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's when it's like the cheapest to go. Went on Hilton website for Montego Bay. We stayed at the Hilton Rose Hall, which is all inclusive, super awesome. Just went week by week by week. I kept searching and searching for the lowest you know, when we went beginning of September, when everybody was going back to school and we didn't really have to worry about that, uh, we got this awesome deal, 47,000 points per night to stay at an all-inclusive Hilton in Jamaica. I mean, that's freaking amazing because every other week we check 60,000, like 80,000. Now I think it's like close to 100,000. If you're willing and able to be flexible with your dates, it's really worth trying to figure out when to go. So I would suggest finding the hotel first. Get a really good point rate for the hotel. You don't want to book your flight and then you have to pay like a zillion dollars for the hotel. That would just be like nonsensical. Thank you Hilton Honors American Express. By the way, link in the description to your referral and with your referral link, 
you will get extra bonus points. So it's definitely worth it to sign up through a, a referral link. Then I went to JetBlue, had uh, several thousand JetBlue points already, priced out several different flights, and JetBlue seemed to have the cheapest. Hey guys, I just wanted to review the points that took us to Montego Bay. We pooled points from Carlos's account, from our son's account. <laughs> Don't tell him. We took some points from Chase, enabled us to get our departure for 22,800 points for the two of us, and our return, which was only 18,800 points for the two of us. Really good mileage and points value. JetBlue is awesome to go fly to Montego Bay to stay at an all-inclusive Hilton for four nights. I think that's pretty freaking amazing. What do you think? Do you think so? Yes, I think you do. So that was how we got to Montego Bay. Get the Hilton Honors card, get it through our link below, maybe get a JetBlue card. I, I don't have the JetBlue card yet, but I had the JetBlue points and I transferred from my Chase. Chase has all these transfer partners, JetBlue is one of those transfer partners. And you can take your lovely, delicious Chase points and push them right over into your True Blue account and book your flight. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And also, I'm trying to grow my channel so I can give you more content and better content and better videos. So please, please, please like video and please subscribe and also please share the video on your Facebook feed and wherever to get more people looking at this so you can travel the world for free.